Good morning, good morning, good morning, yes, sir. welcome to the Daily Grind. How you doing out there this morning? Good, I hope, I hope you're having a great morning. Hope you have a great day today. If you're out there in Maine, be careful, snowing, roads are slippery, slow down a bit. Take your time, get where you're going safely. As you get drag lagging. I am responsible for what I say. I am. However, I'm not responsible for what you hear. Uh, I think the art of listening has kind of gone by the wayside. People just don't listen. They just respond real quick. Um, you ever played that game where you got seven or eight, ten people in a circle and one person whispers something into the next one's ear and it goes all the way around till it gets back to you? Try it sometime. It's quite amazing when it gets back to you. It's usually not even close to what you had to say. <laughs> So it's important that you listen, that you really listen when somebody's talking to you and hear what they say, not what you think they said. I think a lot of times people will listen to you, but they'll hear what they want to hear through their truth, not what you're saying. And that gets things confused. Communication is important. Listening is just as important as talking. You got to really listen to what the person's saying so that you understand. And if you're not sure what they said, simply ask a question. Could you repeat that? I'm not sure what you said. Or say, this is what I heard, and repeat what you think you heard. And then you'll know if you if you actually heard what they were saying or if you have kind of put your own little twist on it. That makes a big difference. It's like a guy was going to the grocery store to get some milk, and his wife said, uh, if they got avocados, get six. And he said, okay. And he came home with six gallons of milk. And she said, what are you doing? He said, you said if they had avocados, get six. So I got six. She said, I meant get six avocados. See, he heard something totally different than what she said. So you got to really be careful about listening. And, and um, if you're not 100% sure about what was, what was said, ask the question. Could you repeat that? Or say, this is what I heard. Is this what you mean? Uh, which is a good way to do it. You know, he could have said, get six gallons of milk. What do you want to do that for? And she would have said, no, get six avocados. Uh, but that didn't happen. So he heard something totally different than what she was saying. And that's how miscommunication happened. So, again, I am responsible for what I say. However, I am not responsible for what you hear. And also, if you are the one saying it, speak clearly. Say what you mean very clearly so that someone understands or has a chance to understand exactly what you're saying. And, you know, if you're not sure, ask them to repeat it. Could you repeat what I said so I know that you understand what I'm trying to say, not what you're hearing? Um, that's a good way to clear that up, too. Anyway, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Be careful out there today. Hope you have a great day, great weekend now. See you Monday. Over.